Hello, and in this video, you learn how to run DeepSeek locally, both in the terminal and with a good looking UI that looks just as good as the one on the main website that can be run without China stealing any of your data and without any Wi Fi. And so, without further ado, let's begin. All right, first thing we need to do is go to llama.com and click download. Here, choose your operating system and click download for it. Once you've downloaded and set it up, Open the application and click next and install it if you haven't already. Inside of Ulama, we can also go to models. Here we have all of the models available. There is a huge amount and as you can see on the top is DeepSeek or you can search it over here. Regardless, you can go into DeepSeek R1 and choose one of the available ones. As you can see, there's ones ranging from 1.5b, which can even be run on a phone, to 671 billion parameters, which you'll need a group of powerful GPUs to run it locally. For most people, I'd recommend 7b or 8b. I'm currently running 8b. It's not as powerful as the one on the website that is visibly noticeable, but it's still decent if you're in an environment with no Wi-Fi. Also, I believe 14b could be decent for most people. For demonstration purposes, I'll go to 1.5b, copy this, go to my terminal, paste this in here and run it. As you can see, it will install the model, which is 1.1 gigabytes, and later we'll run it. I'll simply stop it because I have other models available. However, we won't really need to run it over here because it doesn't look good. For example, I'll run the 8b version right now, right over here. As you can see, I can send a message. For example, it generates a react.js component. So as you can see, it does generate everything. It looks okay, but a better UI would be better. And so for this, we can use Docker and open web UI. Next, we can go back to the browser, go to Docker, click download for desktop and choose your operating systems of the ones available and wait for it to download. And once it's ready, open Docker, open. And here is our Docker. Yours might look a little different because I already have a web UI open here, but the premise will be the same. You will need to go through a quick survey to log in, but it takes only like a minute. So shouldn't be difficult for anyone. Next, what we can do is go to our browser and type in how to start open web UI container like this. Go to this guide, scroll down. If you have Nvidia, Choose this. If you don't have NVIDIA, use this command. So copy it, go to your terminal and paste in this command. This is the result. This command can take some time to install. So don't worry if it'll take like 10, 15 minutes. And once we're back in Docker, you can click run over here or it might be already running for you and command click over here. And now it has installed, you might need to log in. But essentially, this is how it looks. Over here, you have your list of models. As you can see, you have DeepSeek 8B, 7B, some Llama models, and some Arena model, whatever that is. And this is the interface. You can say, I'm who are you? And it answers who it is. It's DeepSeek R1. Let's say, write me a React.js hero section component. We're not going to test that right now, just to see that it actually works. And just to show you how it shows code. We can click over here to see that it's thinking. As you can see, it's just like on the website, just with a different font. And here it's writing out all of the code. And here's the code. So as you can see, it is different from the main DeepSeek website, but the point stays the same. It's good, it's efficient, it's visible. So essentially, if you're in an environment without Wi-Fi, you can easily use it. For example, I'll turn off my Wi-Fi right now, just to demonstrate. Say, make it more complex, for example. And as you can see, everything works perfectly fine without the Wi-Fi. So we can turn that back on. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.